Hey fellas, AJ Jensen here with yet again another Tune Heads video. In this video I'm going to talk about a caricature tip known as stacking. Stacking is arranging exaggerated shapes in a balanced way to represent the likeness of your subject. Now in order to do this we need to know two things first, which is finding shapes and forming shapes. For forming shapes. Finding shapes is discovering different shapes that lie within your subject you want to caricature. These usually are just basic shapes like circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, ovals, and yada 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 yada. You know, those, those things. Typically these shapes relate to your subject's main features. To help you guys out, let's take a look at this photo of fellow caricature artist Robin. Now searching for what shapes could relate to your subject's features, or in our case, Robin's features, First try determining the head shape into a basic shape are shapes, which should look a little like this. And it's a circle and a triangle. How neat! For the next part, you're going to have to try to determine your subject's vocal points into basic shapes. Click this box right here if you haven't already watched the caricature tip video, vocal points. So let's head back to Robin's picture right here, and we're going to have to try to determine her vocal points. So there are a couple features on Robin here that really just stand out, which is her nose, her oval eyes, and her triangular smile. So applying these features into shape should look a little like this. You can see how I almost matched each shape to represent Robin's features. Now with these shapes in mind, we can move over to the next part known as forming shapes. Forming shapes is exaggerating each shape that lie within your subject. First thing I do before exaggerating these shapes is throwing a line down the direction of my subject. This line allows you to understand which direction the shape should follow, either with or away from the line. Typically this line flows from the top of the head down to the bottom of the neck. So now let's take a look at Robin's photo, including the shapes and the directional line. Directional line. Now in Robin's case this line is a little curved. Other people will have either curvier or straighter directional lines. But taking a look at Robin's picture, you can see what shapes flow with that directional line are away from it. For example, the rectangular shape for her nose and the square of her chin flow away from that directional line, while all the other kind of shapes stay kind of glued. Understanding this idea will help you later for stacking those shapes. Now for forming these shapes, it involves altering each shape, either by extending, decreasing, widening, or shortening each shape. For example, Robin's rectangular nose shape can be extended longer, and her triangle mouth shape can be decreased. And with this photo right here, you can see all the shapes I have altered to follow Robin's exaggeration. But how can we make all these exaggerated shapes fit? Well, that's where stacking comes into play. Think about each exaggerated shape having its own weight. And you need to construct a way to balance each exaggerated shape that follows that directional line from earlier. So, you think about each exaggerated shape and its value towards the likeness of your subject. The higher the value in that shape, the more weight to that shape. So we need to imagine constructing a way to balance each exaggerated shape upon the neck of your subject. All the shapes that extend away from that directional line should have some way of being held down by a heavier shape. So let's take a look at Robin's exaggerated shapes again. In this picture I marked each shape with a color. The darker the blue, the heavier the shape. Her nose shape is the main vocal point, which in turn should make it heavier. And not only that, it almost feels heavier. While her lower triangle shape isn't as valued, so it should be a little bit lighter, wouldn't you think? So with this idea in mind, you can create something like this. See how every feature just sort of balances on top of that neck? I even extended that nose really far away from that directional line. But combining the eyes, the top of the head, and the ears in one mass, I was able to keep balance with that directional line. You just need to find a way of balancing each exaggerated shape upon that neck. You can still morph those shapes to create that idea of balance. Just remember to keep in mind how it could affect the likeness of your caricature. Also, you can move those shapes, but just remember how it could affect the likeness of your caricature. Second is just a good way of creating a good design for your caricature. And it's a lot of fun. You should definitely just try it out. All right, now it's time for me to draw my new subject for the Toon Heads giveaway. Here's the subject who was kind enough to upload some pictures to the giveaway page. This talented, handsome goober. If you guys want a chance to win your very own free caricature, go ahead and follow the Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash the Toonheads giveaway. So let's pop on over to my drawing desk and get started on our new caricature. Okie dokie. So for this video, I'm going to be drawing another fellow caricature artist, Manny. 
Manny is an extremely talented caricature artist. And in all honesty, one of my favorite artists. I'm also glad to admit I can consider him a pretty good friend. You guys should definitely go check out Manny's work. I'm gonna leave his website in the description box below. And with saying all that, Manny's face is just perfect for caricature. And I'm pretty sure he has a lot of caricatures because of this. One thing I have to admit is I struggled with this caricature just a little bit. I was a little conflicted for the fact I had an idea brewing for a long time on how to draw Manny. The only problem was the idea didn't come as a full image in my head. So I was sort of lost when I was trying to sketch him before the final drawing. And my idea was having his jawline as just this straight line with his chin extending out. The only problem was that my idea was contradicting with what actually could work. So I remembered the stacking idea. I needed a way to have shapes holding down where the jawline extended out. So I thought, hey, why not divide the head shape into three shapes? So that's what I did. The bottom of his head as one shape, the top as another shape, and his hair being its own shape. And I thought Manny's hair is a pretty big vocal point, so why not use it as a shape? So I end up constructing a sketch that sort of resembles this one. And for demonstration purposes, I gave each shape its own value of blue. The darker the blue, the heavier the shape. I also made his neck a little wider for three reasons. One, it gave the shape something bigger to balance on. Two, it fit with Manny's exaggeration. And three, it just looked good. But every shape seemed to balance upon that neck nicely. As for the direction the shape should follow, I did end up using a directional line that was as much identical to the reference picture as possible. Like this one. So here's the directional line with the shapes. This helped me not only for the head shape, but the direction for the main features. So taking a look at this picture really quick, you can see how every feature below his eyes kind of fall away from that directional line. It almost acts like it has its own direction entirely in itself. So then I knew if I were to add the features, they would follow the direction the jaw would go. So here's what it looked like when I pieced together each feature inside the head shape. And the reason why I pulled those eyes together was it gave more weight to the right side so the left side wouldn't fall over and look unbalanced. Plus, oddly enough, I feel like it worked for the likeness. I really do. I think it did. We're gonna go with it did. A couple things I want to add before the speed drawing finishes up. I want to let you guys know that I'm going to take a little bit of a break on these caricature tip videos. Right now, I'm having a lot of things go on. One major thing and something I really need to concentrate on is preparing to be a speaker at the next ISCA convention. ISCA stands for the International Society of Caricature Artists. And every year, caricature artists from all over the world gather up in one location. We do competitions, seminars, and draw a lot. A lot of caricatures all over the place. It's actually a very, very great way to improve as a caricature artist. I highly recommend going this year. Not only will you get a chance to meet me, but you'll meet hundreds of different well-known artists as well. Plus, it will allow you to learn so much in the world of caricature. You can find more information about ISCA by going to www.caricature.org. So yes, a little bit of a break from the caricature tip videos right now. Because these videos take me a while to write, film, draw, edit, and upload. The process takes me about a week and about 28 hours of no sleep sometimes. And that's how dedicated I am to entertaining you guys. So say thank you right now, out loud. Just say thank you. You're welcome. But saying that, I will still be doing the giveaway drawings every month along with a video to follow up on that drawing. These new videos will be short and simple, mostly focusing on a speed drawing and what was going through my head during the sketch. So don't be shy to upload some pictures to the giveaway page. And one last thing, Everyone has been begging me to do caricature tutorials on noses, eyes, mouths, you know, all the fundamentals. So around December, that is something I'm going to do. So please keep an eye out for those videos in the future. Right now, these caricature tip videos I have uploaded are different steps or approaches you can take with caricature. But yes, there will be more fundamental caricature videos in the future. So stop asking me before I just lose my mind. I'm just kidding. Anyways, I think that about wraps it up for Manny's caricature, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I sure did. I really love this caricature. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Toonhead videos in your future. And this is AJ Jensen saying, don't gargle toilet water and expect your breath to smell better. Who knows? Take care, guys.